Welcome back. In this video, now we are going to see what our EC2 instance is. I have made a video already, but I felt that was, uh, you know, too fast. Uh, so let's see. Uh, let me give you a brief uh, overview type of thing. Oh, well, what happened? Where is my instance? It's not in Virginia. It must be in. Yeah. OK, I'm glad that happened. So basically, uh, these are all of my regions and right now i'm in virginia as uh, so i've selected but if you remember originally when we started we were in ohio my instance should be in ohio there it is so it's running in ohio so my actually the actual physical location of my instance is in ohio i'm gonna go back to virginia the only reason being is that that's the oldest uh, aws um, region facility uh, and it has the most uh, services available so if you are in a region like when you're trying out and you don't see a particular uh, service in your region uh, don't freak out just change it to uh, where it is available and so uh, again it's not running okay so I'm gonna show you what are the instances are and there are uh, there's a long long list um, EC2 dashboard and we're gonna create a launch instance so first off um, it, this one just came uh, this Mac OS Catalina uh, actually it just uh, uh, announced uh, late uh, November early December uh, and it's a big thing so you can actually run a virtual Mac OS on uh, in now in Amazon uh, web services uh, these are all the Linux uh, that Amazon have the images uh, then you have Red Hat and Zeus uh, you are have Ubuntu, uh, Microsoft Windows Server 2019, and it's a long list. Deep Learning Base, and you bunch of Microsoft. And if you continue, keep going down. There are there is, it's pretty hefty list. Now, keep in mind that if you're not using Linux and you uh, choose to run a Windows Microsoft uh, instance you will be charged for not only AWS but you will be charged for the licensing uh, price so that you really should know um, I'm gonna stick to Amazon Linux and <clears throat> the next is the interesting part these are like tons of variation of different computers uh, virtual computers so when you go to uh, um, uh, to uh, buy your parts I don't know I, I've done I've been doing it for a very very long time uh, like just go to a computer market you buy parts different parts you so back in my country um, that was the norm uh, in the United States you just go to Dell HP or you know whatever of your choice you just order a computer it come you power it on but uh, uh, for us it's just a matter of uh, customizing the maximum so you'll buy this motherboard you'll buy that uh, uh, CPU uh, back in the day Intel was a big name even though AMD had the exact same process exact same down to the last uh, dot uh, but you know People love the Intel more uh, right now uh, my favorite is AMD I really like um, this machine is AMD 2700 I'm gonna upgrade this machine maybe in a year uh, so just when I feel like that the, this uh, machine is a uh, little bit slow for me so uh, just like that you go buy different parts customize it uh, if you have seen video where I had 16 GB RAM then I upgraded to for, um, another 32 so just like that these are different machines and it has different capabilities you can select those machines so I'm going to show you on the top uh, this is the T T2 micro that uh, you should be um, playing with or leave it running because that, that it's not going to uh, get you charged anything uh, it's th here it's the family name 
type what type of it is so this is everyday um, like general purpose uh, computing uh, so you have one virtual CPU you have one GB memory and instant storage type is EBS elastic elastic uh, block storage yeah yeah block storage not object so block storage is basically uh, I should make another video but basics like a uh, hardware where a file when you're editing or modifying a file you're not uh, rewriting the whole file you're just uh, um, replacing editing whatever of that block of the, of that block of that file network performance low to moderate and then you have IPv6 port or not and uh, if we can is there anything else here no okay so it's gonna scale mm -hmm. so you can see here it's up to 5 gigabit like what kind of uh, uh, network card it has and uh, you can keep going down it now it has two uh, processor virtual CPUs it has 8 32 GB RAM so continue look this how massive it is 192 and if uh, I don't know if I have a way of uh, right that's the winner 244 so d2 dense computing um, for your like um, not exactly database but if you know if you have done if you have done data manipulation yeah that requires a lot of uh, memory so 256 another uh, winner right here and 976 that's a giant f1 they are like a genome sequence editing and all that so like scientific research you this uh, is going to be a massive machine you just look at 25 gigabit uh, this machine can handle the network card 50 gigabit right here so G I forgot what is what it was for and this looks oh, but it's not that bad so maybe it's just for uh, um, more of a hundred gigabit more of a network throughput so you get the idea just imagine how many machines are there you can run any one of them and uh, all you have to do is just pay for it we're gonna stick with the uh, micro and oh, I have to, at this point I have two options I can either review and launch like I'm happy with the, these settings just go and launch or I can I can go and next uh, and like add it a little bit more instances number of instances is how many machines you want right now I just want one because uh, I get to 750 or anybody for that matter get 750 compute hours of that machine that is more than sufficient for 31 days of any given month uh, so if I run two that means that I will be paying for at least one machine in theory right so a network like what kind of uh, virtual private uh, compute you are it's gonna everything is going to default uh, what kind of subnet so you can change um, get the subnet here and if you know the availability zone and the region you will know that uh, the pairs and all that so even though if you're everybody selecting one C it's not going into a, a in the back end it's not in just one um physical location it will be rotated around different uh, locations so for uh, this one is only for you to remember auto sign public ip they, we're gonna leave everything to default uh iam role right now it's none but if you remember that uh, we could uh, create a role um, i'm gonna make another video about roles and that we can assign to this uh, machine next we can do the storage now storage uh, yeah I made the video when I showed you um, like different storage uh, the mm, like an overview of uh, different stories there were like uh, I believe there were seven standard uh, s3s um, oh no that was deep all five and all that okay never mind so root you had this this is your uh, first uh, hard drive if you have played with virtual machines and you know that uh, I, even I shown uh, in one of my video how to add another virtual uh, hard disk to your virtual machine so 
right now this is the hard uh, uh, default hard drive uh, or ssd for uh, you're gonna get that is going to be 8 gb in size and this is general purpose ssd gb2 uh, there is another one gp3 uh, gp3 that is again general purpose these two uh, iops these are for high input uh, output uh, so they cost a little bit more and magnetic is standard hdd now it's not encrypted you can select the encryption or whatever and here is how you attach another hard drive if you're not happy with the size or you want to yeah or if you're like me that you want your primary hard disk or you know storage to house just the operating system and you attach additional be it a virtual machine or be it a actual physical machine you attach additional bigger hard drive for storage so you can add another volume here you can give it maybe 200 GB and you have a, a bit more options here you have the uh, cold HDD and you throughput optimized HDD and you have another magnetic so you can go with the whatever you like I'm not gonna worry about that next is tags so tags mm, give you know let me give you an example um, like if you remember from my previous videos we had like different departments at spectrum so you want to have this uh, machine for a particular department so you can name the department you can name the uh, like uh, you can put name and you can say finance server file server probably and you can add another tag you put department uh, you could put finance so now it will if you uh, if it's an enterprise and everything is in cloud it's a lot more easier for you to search for this particular um, easy to instance uh, via tags we can uh, configure the security uh, group so here you have the this is really interesting really really interesting so uh, security group uh, working from Windows Server and all that you would know what it is if you're not it's just uh, a way of telling um, what kind of security this computer is what kind of access uh, it is allowed to so you can either create a new security group or you can use the existing one if you have one like here default VPC default right now we only have defaults so if it's like an ongoing AWS operation there will be a lot of uh, security policy groups in there so let's say launch wizard one I can do it uh, finance file server right and description you can do finance file server one its creation time is today's 28th uh, and all that now this is the interesting part that I wanted to show you uh, since it's a Linux machine it has SSH uh, the protocol you know what it is the port number and here it is now right now this this means that uh, anybody from the internet can access this machine SSH into it and if you didn't want it you could anywhere means now before custom me custom uh, and z zeros me meant that uh, IPv4 only is this one this one only means IPv4 it says unknown I uh, from known IP addresses only so anybody from uh, the internet with the IPv4 can access it I actually had a call in, in uh, uh, when I was um, uh, in spectrum the caller said that uh, that uh, that particular modem was not allowing IPv6 and he needed IPv6 to connect to his um, university computer so when I searched uh, a little bit on it it was his uh, unfortunately it was his modem and yes indeed that modem was uh, known to have an issue with IPv6 so anywhere now this means that uh, anybody be it a IP be it that machine has a IPv4 or IPv6 this part represent IPv6 internet 
so anybody from there now the most interesting thing is my IP so only this IP address slash 32 means that only this IP address so only my IP address should be able to um, access this machine let's see if that is indeed my IP address what's my IP uh, I right now I have a it seems right now I have only v6 my machine has a v6 address uh, so let's click here IPv4 working on it and is it 188.43.120 188.43.120 yep that indeed is my IP address so meaning that only I from this computers uh, from only from this computer uh, not just I only from this computer we can access this uh, EC2 uh, the good thing is that is very very good for security wise that uh, um, only admin know which computer it is that has this IP address can go and log in and nobody in the world can access the bad or downside is that uh, for example my my modem gets the uh, IP address from the my internet service provider so that means that uh, if uh, I get a different IP address I will not be able to access this EC2 and the workaround would be to go back into this EC2 instance settings and update the IP address I'm gonna leave it to anywhere we can go and re review and launch and now review and it's launch next screen is going to be just launch I'm not gonna launch it because I already have one I just wanted you to sh um, know how to go step by step and do it uh, if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one